Hey guys, it is Friday, the Friday before Christmas. So Merry Christmas everybody and I have decided to come on to talk about something I tried to talk about over on the Instagram page, my personal Instagram page. Um, probably should have made it content for the business page but either way it didn't um, matter because my phone is giving me some problems to upload stories. I'm pretty sure it's my phone and not my internet connection. I thought it was the internet connection, but regardless, um, even on data, when I'm not at the house or in the studio, I'm not getting to upload. Some uploads, then it starts to stick. And then when it sticks, I can't do anything. I can't upload any other stories. And I can't switch between the business page and the personal page. And that's super annoying, especially when you take the time out to sit and record a series of Instagram stories. Because that's what Instagram is. It's not really supposed to be this random thing as you go about your day. Well, actually, if you're documenting your day, that's a story in itself. But I hate to see people just have one story and then... It's just some random pictures like, why didn't you post this on your feed? This doesn't make any sense. The whole purpose of stories is to create a story, right? Um, that's why they created it, so that people won't have this feed of photos just flooding, because that's what people used to do before stories came out. They used to just flood your feed with a bunch of pictures when really, you know, they created stories for that reason. So you see less of that now. Um, and then I think that is why they would have created this swipe. So, yeah. So today, um, what I wanted to talk about. So, yeah, I was just blabbing just for a little bit to give people a chance to find the live, get notified and come. So, in the caption, I'm going to tell people where they can jump ahead to in any case. You can skip all the intro and the house rules and the, um, house cleaning. <laughs> Hey April, thanks for hopping on. So I was talking about vision boards and it really isn't about vision boards. It's about creating and crafting the life that you want to live. Now, when I was a child, um, somebody told me, oh, life is what you make it, blah, 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 blah. And I just thought, what? what are you talking about? Life is what you make it. I mean, if something happens out of my control, I didn't make that. But now that I'm older and I'm wiser, I understand how profound that statement is. Life is what you make it. So as simple as happiness. Happiness comes because you make a conscious decision to be happy. Notice when you start out your day with intent, no matter what bad thing happens. It might get you annoyed, but not as bad if you don't. Start your day with the intent that, hey, no matter what happens today, I'm going to be happy. It's a good day. I'm happy to be alive, etc., etc., right? So, don't mind the little talk. This will happen on afternoon tea from time to time. Um, I know it's a time of the year where we're all reflecting. As you should, just like on your birthday, you reflect on your birth year. When you move into the new fiscal year, a new calendar year um you want to think about your business and reflect on your business as well you reflect on your business you reflect on your personal life your personal goals and your business goals so what i'm about to talk about you can either use it for personal you can use it for business or you can use it for both it can apply to anybody yeah yeah you hear that growing up right april so i am um, a avid practicer so to speak or believer in manifestation and creating vision boards and whatnot and the first time i heard about it i must shout out to chanel cooper sykes if you follow chanel you know what she's all about if you don't and haven't heard about her you need to go and check her out she's the bomb so that was back when she now blew up in 2009 2010 i first heard about vision boards and I tried it and I was like well it's not gonna hurt to to try it right as silly as it may seem you know she said like write a check to yourself date it from the universe put a particular date and 
don't matter what the figure is, write something that gets you excited. You may not be able to believe it, but write something that gets you excited because that emotion and that energy that you put out there of excitement really does kind of let the universe work in your favor, right? So anyway, I wrote that check. And surprisingly, I have manifested these things. I'm not going to go into detail into the awesome things that I manifested because they're no longer part of my life and that's really, really personal stuff that I'm really not going to get into. Um, if you want to know about my personal story, um, that is going to drop sometime between now and New Year's Day. Um, working with Paperclip Media, he, um, his company is working on that brand story. So if you are interested in getting a brand story done, go check out Paperclip Media. So anyway, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. So, right, so I did that. These things manifested. When I look back at that vision board, I don't know where it is. It should be somewhere around. Um, every over the years I would look back at it and saw that certain things manifested even like opening an online bank account with a particular bank I put the bank logo I put online banking all these things have come to pass so that's just to say I'm an avid believer of vision boards and if you haven't created one yet for 2018 make that a, a project to do for your business create a vision board for your life and for your business put how much money you want to make I did all of that I really need to find that vision board because I'm pretty sure I, I I've made that amount that I have put on my vision board so yeah so it's time for me to do a new vision board and start that intent and energy into the world again no April I don't have a new one I need to make a new one last year I tried to make a new one but I was a bit shy with it because personal reasons I didn't people who are around me would have had visual access to it and you do not want to expose your vision to people who will possibly give you negative energy that's not good at all hey Kimberly hey I'm talking about vision boards um it's really 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 good watch it from the beginning catch the replay but i don't want to make it too long i'm already seven minutes in. i'm trying to keep it to ten so i'm getting to the point really quick so i manifested something else long story short i manifested something else this year by accident because i made a 3d version of it and finishing up the 3d version of it i was like i have a feeling this is going to come to pass and so said so done so i'm going to try that with money i'm going to make fake money and kind of made the make the amount that i want to make per month get a job that will be my pretend bank account and while i say affirmations or while you say your affirmations or your mantras or the journaling that you may practice whichever one that you practice um put that particular amount into the jar every day instead of just saying it saying it saying it because it really worked for me last year saying those mantras and for some reason it was a little bit more difficult for me to say it as powerful as i said it last year because you really kind of just say it you really have to visualize it and you have to say it with emotion emotion and that energy because if you say lackluster it's not going to come to pass so it was a little bit more challenging this year but i'm going to put that added touch to it and deposit that money so that's a client paid me this amount per day this amount per day this amount per day and i just found it was such a fantastic idea and i wanted to share it with you all and whoever is willing to listen if this resonates with you i'm going to map it out well, not map it out. Create it, print it, cut it, whatever. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So a vision board and it, you really need to create the life that you want and the business that you want and the personal life that you want. You really have to pretend. Chanel Cooper Sykes said that. She said you have to make believe. You have to make believe and believe. So she's right. That's just what it is. She's right. And... That's what I'm going to be doing for 20 years. So please share with me 
what have you been working on whether it's vision board have you been writing out some particular mantras that you want to be saying starting from now because you don't have to wait until the first of january to start right these are things you can start any time of the year but it's that time of year where it's a popular hot topic and um okay yeah i'm gonna make it i will snapshot it and i'm gonna even if i don't do stories i'm gonna snapshot it and it's gonna be up on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram go follow the business page or you can follow my personal page it really doesn't matter just just that different types of content goes on different pages and sometimes it overlaps um eventually i'm going to make my personal page private but for right now it's going to be open because of the podcast that I hope to be launching, which is a bit personal to me and more things in that respect, the Boss Lady podcast, the things that I would post are in theme with that. And instead of me managing three Instagram pages, I'm kind of keeping that stuff on my personal page. So for right now, you can follow me on both pages. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take pictures of it when I do it. Or I'll store it and I'm definitely going to document the process oh yeah 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 I, I, I wanted to document the vision board I'll tell you all about it but I there are haters out there there are people who don't mean you well there's so much negative energy out there and as I was telling um, telling you all who, are, who I'm seeing watching me um, viewing this that if something is very important to you and close to your heart and you do not want the negativity then you have to protect it and I need to protect what's important to me that's special to me so I'm not gonna blast <laughs> the vision board um, but at least where the money thing is concerned you all are not gonna know the amount but you're gonna see the process of how I made it and how I make it and how you can make it too I do goals and then plan to get and then I plan to get to those goals more nerdy than pretty but it's just me yeah whatever works for you it's really just about whatever gets you excited and whatever works for you but yeah tell me what you all do Kimberly anybody who's watching or if you're catching the replay tell me what you do, do you journal do you say mantras slash affirmations do you vision board what do you do or do you so you just roll through life and let life happen to you rather than you create the life that you want I know it, it's something that you constantly have to practice it is practice just like going to the gym you have to be consistent you have to go how many times a week you have to keep it up so oh, I hope this door doesn't slam so yeah I think it's time to wrap up please if you enjoyed this video share it share it share it and i have the website masterclass coming out very soon a date has not been decided upon just yet but it will be soon in the meantime get on the list so you would be the first person well one of the, the few people well, not few people one of the people who are on the list to be the first in the know of when it's going to be the date of the masterclass so you want to stay tuned for the website masterclass as soon as we get through Christmas and all that holiday fever I think then I will be able to pinpoint the masterclass date and it's free absolutely free Kimberly she says I journal mantras affirmations really have been thinking about this for 2018 yeah I knew you meant 2018 yeah this is a good time because things tend to get slow um, that last week of the year after Christmas passes you know Christmas Eve it, the house might get quiet sit down with a hot cup of tea or cocoa with your marshmallows and really think about what you want to create for 2018 and start to visualize it because I just want to say that I solely attest to doing these things it really does help and it really does help shift from a state of anxiety and worry to just getting excited about your life and your business so Merry Christmas and I will be going live I think at least one more time I doubt I'll be going live more than that before Christmas Day but Christmas Eve I'll be going live to announce who 
get Boss Lady Mugs, complimentary of CDB Design Studio. So until then, cheers!